Hello everyone, this is the Finance Pastor and your friend Felix Garcia with another episode. And today we're going to be talking about financial investing, uh, specifically about com uh, com combining financial stewardship with also Christian values. Now, uh, one of the things that I get, uh, that I hear a lot from a lot of uh, Christians is that, you know, I, I don't want to invest my money in the stock market because a lot of these companies don't line up with uh, my values. And, and I believe that is true. Uh, many people have, have a right to believe that because it is true. Uh, you, and, and the sad part about it is that 99.9% .9 of the companies that are publicly traded or investing out there are not Christian. And, uh, and most of our investments, you start seeing that a lot of these companies do start off Christian. But uh, that's when you start by having a board and uh, uh, when money overtakes moral ethics uh, and overtakes uh, the bottom line is always the bottom line. Um, a lot of those uh, values change over time. So how do you combine that? You know, I get asked, you know, I have a 401k, I have mutual funds, I have some cash, but I don't want to invest in a lot of these companies. And, and that's a fair assessment. You know, but it's also a, a, a fact that, you know, there's a scripture that talks about that the wealth of the wicked is also stored up for the righteous. Well, you know, if you start looking at, at that scripture um, with a different eagle eye, uh, look at it from a from an investor's perspective. This is what I want you to realize. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Let's dissect that. Well, consider this, is that God is not just going to go take money from a rich person and just transplant it to you because you're a tither. Uh, that's not going to happen. I mean, that would be wonderful, but that's not the fact that will never happen that way. But God gives us wisdom. And that's where you have to be an opportunist. What do I mean? Is that there's several times in the market where you could see opportunities where, uh, you know, I'll say it for the fact of it, you know, not many people know who I am anyway, but there's a way if all these companies that go woke, how to help them go broke. Uh, and you can do that through trading. Now, in, in stock trading, you can do that through several things. Uh, you can actually wait for stock uh, to drop a company that may not line up with your morals and then just buy up, buy it up at a discount and let it increase, but also make monthly income through what's called covered calls. Um, that in that in that type of instance, you have to have several lots of that share over a hundred. At least you want to have about a thousand of a, uh, of a company and do covered calls where you can make monthly income. Or you could do what several other investors do. Is they do strategies called options. Options are uh, strategies that I love using where you could do directional trading, which is what I love. I love trading the NASDAQ ETF, which is the Q's. And I also like trading common stock like Ford, uh, which I love dividends. And you start seeing that you could start investing in several companies in different ways. And each step of the way, you can have a different plan for it and also different outcomes. Now, as a Christian investor, go woke, go broke. A perfect example of this is something that we've experienced is through a company called Target during Pride Month. Well, they went through this whole spiel of just really alienating a lot of conservative, a lot of Christian, God-fearing people. Well, their stock dropped. Now, even though their stock dropped, that, that is, a, is an opportunity for us as an investor to make money as they drop through an option, through a put option, or uh, through a normal term. Many uh, investors here is called shorting a stock, or you can wait till it drops and then buy it at a discount, which in my opinion, um, I think is still at a discount, um, even though it's gone up even through the little Christmas rally we've had at the end of 2023. So those are things and opportunities where you start seeing, okay, they don't line up with my morals, but the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Well, the stored up for the righteous, well, how can you get it? Well, I'll make them pay for it either through, um, through equity um, through building equity in their company with what which is buying their stock at a discount and watching it grow that's how the the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous in my opinion or you can just enjoy 
um, watching it drop, make money as they drop through puts or shorting a stock, or you can just make money off that stock by playing the neutral side, which is what I love with option trading, which is called uh, credit spreads slash iron condor. So um, a lot of that teaching is for another type of subject, but those are ways where you could take as a Christian investor, you say, okay, this is my money. Okay, how do I want to invest that? And then you start looking at companies and be like, okay, what are good companies that maybe don't line up with my morals, but I can actually get at a discount? And then you start investing investing totally different. Because why? Because now is your mind is shifting into, okay, God has given me a brain. The economy goes up and down. Normally we have five to seven years of going up and then two years of recession, which we haven't had that in, in about 14 years, which is an anomaly. Um, and many people start planning, okay, what's going to happen? Now, another thing, let's say you're a person that's listening to this and you have a 401k and you're saying, well, Felix, you know what? I have a 401k, but I can't necessarily invest in my company is the one that really invests in it. That's when you have to understand is what is does your HR director, what is your portfolio manager, what is it, what are they invested in? Which is if you feel like they have probably is going to be in baskets of mutual funds, it is what it is. You're going to have a, a little bit of everything. Um, but find out is in your mutual fund, if you believe that there's a market turn or correction coming along, and this is where you have to make that assumption. Um, I don't know. I can only guess. Uh, but if you believe that there's a market correction, another smart move is just putting your money in the sidelines into an interest-bearing cash account without taking it out of your 401k. So that's another way to pre preservation, especially going into this next election, election cycle. Uh, we don't know what to expect. Many people are expecting a downturn. Okay, but we've been expecting a downturn for a little while. Is it going to happen? I don't know. You know, for some miracles, maybe some people expecting it to happen to usher in a new president, but I don't know that's going to happen either. But one thing I do know is that as a Christian investor, it is your job to be prepared, just like Joseph, for years of plenty and for years of lack. Investing as a Christian investor and with Christian morals should be fun. And actually, you could start looking at what companies you like. Um, and, and think of this. You don't have to know everything about every single company. Think of things you love, you enjoy. Think of things that are in your home, things that you buy. Five out of ten of those companies are publicly traded. And as we keep talk, talking about stewardship, as a Christian investor, you, I'm going to be giving different videos and different uh, different things uh, of how to look as, as an investor, how you can take your fi family's finances and move them to the place where you want to go in Jesus' mighty name. So until next time.